Today I had the opportunity to run Dixie Chopper's new prototype called the Eagle, and in this video, I'll tell you all about it. Good morning and how is everybody doing? And welcome back to the channel. So today I have something pretty exciting for you. Uh, no, it's not anything to do with my truck today. It's something to do with my mowers. So uh, as you guys watch my channel, you know I do have uh, some mowing videos also. My dad and I have a mowing service. Um, my local Dixie Chopper dealer, uh, their rep dropped off a prototype for some guys to try out. And he called me up and I was one of them that was chosen to try out the new model. What we have here is Dixie Chopper's prototype. This is called the Eagle. Um, this particular model here is a 60 inch mower and it's running a 27 horse Kawasaki engine. They do have it available in a 31 horse Kawasaki and also a 31 horse Kohler if you so choose. And the deck also comes in a 60, a 66, and a 72. Um, these models are a push button start. Uh, you put in whatever code you want and then you got your starter button here. They do not have a key. Um, it does have the suspension seat and it also has a suspension plate in it too. So it helps out with ride, uh, the ride on the mower. So, you know, I haven't got a chance to use this mower yet except for pulling it off the trailer. And what I'm going to do in this video is just give you, it's just going to be a short video on this mower here since it is a prototype from Dixie Chopper. It probably is going to be available, oh, well, it is available online now or not uh, on their website. Um, as this model sits right here, it's right around 8,000, a little bit more. And um, it, it's going to be available for 18. These, they have went to a plastic design on the tanks, kind of like the Black Hawk. Uh, the fuel tanks are not integrated in these like the other Dixie Choppers. It is actually underneath the seat. Um, you can actually, right there is a fuel tank. I believe it is about 10, 12 gallon capacity. So it is just a little bit more than like what my Silver Eagle is. Uh, the only thing, since this is a prototype, that I don't like that I've saw so far is where the emergency brake is. I think they could actually take this and move it over and put it in this housing right here since this is just an empty cavity and be just a little bit easier to work instead of so close to the seat right there. I can't hardly see it. But anyway. There you go. You can see right here is the seat belt latch, then right here is the emergency brake handle. You can't get your hand in there at all. So uh, that's one thing that I think I would change on it. Uh, they no longer run a uh, pump and wheel motor. These are all a transaxle, transaxle from Parker. Um, and it's thousand hours before you have to do anything. And at a thousand hours, the only thing you really have to do is change the oil and filter. And then it has a filter within and then its own oil. So uh, other than, you know, your 100 hour service or whatever other service work that you have to do, uh, 1,000 hours and that is the transaxles. Um, let's see, something else I just thought about too. As you look that way and not at me. Um, the chute is on your foot now up here instead of the handle right here um your sticks still the same so right now i think i'll get you set up and uh just do some footage of uh, running the mower itself
Okay, tell me what you think so far. So far, my only fault on it is the emergency brake, how it is. I don't like how it's so close. Uh, it, it's too hard to work around this armrest. Now, the armrest does go up and down, but if you're sitting on the mower, you don't have to have to put the armrest up to put the emergency brake down, then put the armrest back down. So I think they need to relocate the uh, emergency brake. <clears throat> other than that, uh, my only other drawback would be the, the push button start, but you know, everything's going to that. Even our skid loaders at work, the Bobcats, they're a, a push button start now. So um, we use these every single day, you know, all summer long, clear into sometimes January uh with a push button start like that you know it you could find fault in it versus a key so that would be my only other drawback would be that and the emergency brake is my only fault so right here's another quick walk around so far this mower has done an impeccable job all day long i got some some footage in there from you guys so you can see how uh good a job it does grinding up leaves cutting the grass um there's the engine that is in this one it is a 27 horse uh it's an fx 850 v um which means that's a 27 horse motor the other one i'm not sure what the other kawasaki motor is but it is a 31 horse engine um the only i don't know on the deck if it has the excalibur style where the blades overlap that's another thing i'm not sure of but uh all in all uh, i think i'm gonna be in line for one of these mowers next spring uh, i like it quite a bit so this is the dixie chopper eagle like i said in the beginning of this uh, video this is their prototype there's going to be some changes made uh, throughout the winter months uh, at the Dixie Chopper headquarters there in Indiana so uh, we'll see what changes they make and uh, hopefully there's some good ones so guys I appreciate you watching very very much and we will talk to you guys later on bye bye